Join me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today, we find ourselves in Bengaluru. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. Good morning guys, actually it's sun sitting time. I've just woken up from a nap, great. And just before I went for the nap, I went to these guys, Satyam, or actually these guys here, Neutron Office Solutions. I got myself some little business cards with, with a QR code, which hopefully will work. Because every time someone asks me, What's your YouTube channel? I try and spell it and maybe sometimes they don't get it. So, you know, with this, there's like 200, I think, maybe 300, I can't remember. Maybe just 200. Um, yeah, which is enough to get started. And I made them quite small so they can just fit in my pocket and the QR code, they can just go straight there. So there you go. That's me. Need one, let me know. And how much was it? 400? I think when I came in originally, like a, a few days ago, I think they said it was going to be 300, but hey, like literally one, like I literally put the, sent the file over to them, went over, paid, went to sleep for a couple of hours, woke up and they're done. Printed on like a thick card, yep, on a thick card and cut. Um, I chose like a random little tiny size because yeah, I can't be bothered with these big ones, but yeah, awesome. So it's got my logo, and it's got like the address, and it's got a QR code. So all bases covered, basically. Cool, well, since I've just woken up, also, we're gonna go have some breakfast, <laughs> or some dinner, okay? So I'm gonna find a place oh, that's not near somewhere that can get dust in my eyes. <laughs> and somewhere a bit quieter, hopefully, if that exists in Bengaluru, I'm not sure. But then I want to go to, there's like a really cool Shiva temple I want to take you to. So, yeah, that's kind of the plan. And now we're in business. <laughs> All right, guys. Literally, literally just gave my first card away. <laughs> Straight away. Yeah, it actually makes, makes life a lot easier. You say, here's my card. Although he just looked at it and he didn't really understand it, but that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go try and find some food. Uh, and then, oh, I don't know. Try and get somewhere, somehow. Get to Shiva somehow, I don't know. Me and traffic, me and transport here, have not been so great, you know. It's been quite, quite, quite taxing on the soul to get anywhere, to be honest. Particularly now, like obviously now I've just woken up and it's like rush hour. That's not going to help the situation, is it? Cool, well, we'll do food first and then try and decide how to get anywhere. Okay, bye. About an hour later, and I haven't gone very far. I haven't even had lunch, uh, dinner yet. Oh, I was like, I decided, oh, hang on. Maybe I'll just go to the Shiva temple and um, have some food there. And I've been waiting. Yeah, it's like an hour later. I've been waiting for a bus, which just has not come. And this one isn't coming either, that's not it. So. Yeah, I gave my kind of self kind of a, or it, it's at least a deadline. And yeah, that deadline's gone. It's fine. I'm giving up. Giving up, because if it's this hard to get anywhere, like, I don't, yeah, I, I'm traveling tomorrow, so I don't want to, uh, it's annoying, guys, it's annoying. Bengaluru is just, just, just terrible to get around. The whole time uh, waiting for a bus, 
I'd also tried to book an Uber. A couple like said yes and then cancelled, you know. So, I don't know. It's like quarter past seven. I guess this is still rush hour. You know, again, I just shouldn't be traveling at night at rush hour. But I think daytime is pretty much the same as well. I don't know. So anyway, that's enough of that. I give up. I was going to go even to like uh, Indra, uh, Naga, which is like kind of, I still haven't been to those, the clubs and everything. It's so terrible to get around here. And like by the time, so I've been waiting for that bus for about 40 minutes. It was supposed to come yeah, about 20 minutes ago. And that whole time waiting, I was also trying to get an Uber. So, you know, I've only got so much patience, to be honest. And if, you know, if I can't get, whoop, if I can't get to the uh, Shiva temple or to in, Indra Nagra, then, you know, I can only imagine how hard it is to get back at like 10, 11 o'clock. You know, and I've already done that once, and it just wastes the whole next day as well, because I'm exhausted. So, oh well, I'm still going to go try and have some dinner, <laughs> but at a place that's walkable. Maybe Taco Bell, it's right here, but no, I don't want Taco Bell. Yeah, disappointing to say the least, because if the traffic, if the traffic was just a little bit, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Don't know how to solve that problem. I see there is like some like overground monorail stuff that's still to be built. Maybe that should solve it. I, don't, I really don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go have some food and then go back to the guest house and just chill out. I think. But yeah, you're welcome to come along for the food. Just kind of then worries me, you know, about trying to get to a train station tomorrow <laughs> to catch my train because it could take three hours just to get an Uber, like it did the other night. Oh well, what can you do? to give up on things usually you know challenges make me push harder but I think that's enough that's enough pushing so I'm here it's actually on the street the little quiet street well the little street of my um, where my guest house is with a little view of the street I didn't realize they had like a, a whole restaurant up here I've been in here downstairs before uh, and just picked out some like takeaway. But yeah, I've ordered forgotten. Something that I've never heard of, that's why I can't remember what it was. But I did do veg pilau rice, or they call it pilau rice, which is like a kind of like a fried rice with vegetables and a lassi and a chicken something. Chicken something, I can't remember. Then it turns up, I'll ask the dude. So yeah, that's that's enough. That's enough for me. Just gonna go wash my hands, guys. So talk among she said. I just checked the menu, so I ordered a chicken collar puri. Puri. No idea what they are. <laughs> I think I might do like some different videos. But it's a bit calmer somewhere um, where I go, oh, yeah, like one called what is a paratha? And then I just order the paratha and show you and eat it. This is a paratha. It has flour in it. <laughs> yeah, and kind of do research on each, each one. Do you think that's interesting? Because Kolapuri, never heard of. Never, never, never. Uh, maybe that's one thing I have noticed is that kind of the names are I guess regional or city based or you know I, mean, I can't think of but like Madras for example although that's not Chennai Chicken Madras is was uh, something I can't remember anything else off the top of my head but maybe 
Kolapuri is a place, let me know. And I'll find out what it is when it turns up. <laughs> and we can find out together. Cool. But yeah, this is a find. Like, I had no idea this place existed. It's literally my place. I've been walking past it every day for the last, I don't know, few days. And yeah, first time sitting above it all. That's quite nice. All right, guys. When it comes, we'll eat it together. All right. Lassie. Peel our rice. Wow, look how much there is. Oh my gosh, that's as big as my head. And then, oh, chicken, collar, puri. Okay, no idea. And like a little, it's like a yogurt, yogurt stuff. I used to have in bread. I was like, what do I dip it in? <laughs> I used to use my hand, actually. Very strange. Wow. So in here, hang on, I'll show you a little. So in here, lassi, yogurt stuff, chicken kolapuri, and pilau rice. You can see in the pilau rice, there's like so many things. So many things. Peas, uh, like cheese, or maybe it's paneer. Carrot, no, oh, I've no carrot for a while. <laughs> uh, beans, maybe some nuts. Onions, it's kind of yellowish, it's kind of like a, I guess that's turmeric, I guess. And then, ta -da. <laughs> whoa, look at this, big bits of chicken as well. Wow, no idea, I've never had a kolapuri before, kolapuri. Nope. Look at it though. Looks good. So let's try the pilau by itself. Wow. Just that by itself. Amazing. Very oily, but that kind of brings it, gives it flavour, you know. Kind of like a, kind of like a stew, yeah, like a fried rice, I guess. <coughs> Right now, let's try the Kolapuri. Wow. Okay. That's a bit different. Very salty. Very, very salty. Kind of very, very like savory, rich kind of flavor. Um, a bit of spice to it, but it's not, not spicy really. I mean, it's got spice in it, but it's not hot. Mmm, very good. And even the chicken is, oh no, the chicken is still, yeah, there's still bones in there. Okay, gonna have to use my hands. So much rice. And here's my lassi. Ooh. Very sour, sweet. Let's try the actual chicken. Oh, let's just dig it off, dig it off. <coughs> Very tender, it looks. Wow. Mm. So good. Now try the, I think paneer. Hmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> and a nice view, a nice quiet view, my I add, my I add. And yeah, that's, that's us for today. Wow, something was chilly, chilly then. I think that was actually the pilau. It was strange because in the, like I've had pilau rice in the UK before, and then it's with a PI, where isn't it? In the, um, in the menu here, it was P U L O. No, L A O. P Lao. Pu Lao. I don't know if it's different, but it 
like is the same, like looking at it, it looks the same. Let me try this thing. Yeah, it's kind of like a yogurt. I think a bit of mint in there. Onion. Yeah. Maybe parsley even. What I recommend doing, although this isn't you know, particularly spicy, like I said, if you get like a really hot, hot food, just order the lassi. Or, you know, you get the stuff and it cools it down. The yogurt just cools it all down. Cool guys, I'm gonna eat all of this too much stuff. And then pass out, fall asleep, maybe again. Wow, so much rice, so much. Look, that's my hand, that's the rice. Must be for like at least three people. And we've got this view here. Oh, done. Oh, done. I managed it. Oh, that's a lot of rice. <laughs> Not actually quite as much as I thought. So, actually, there's a. Sorry about that much. You must keep it from like burning or something because they're cooking it. It's quite clever. I guess it's got like a double bottom, if you like. And some people's things going on out there. Still got a bit, a bit of lassie to drink. But um, yeah, I think that's, I think it was a good decision. But there's still traffic. I can still see like just constant. So yeah, gonna finish this, go back to the guest house. It's literally just down that road. Thank you, probably. Well, you can't quite see it. It's just around the corner. And rest. Cool, guys. Well, I might leave the video here, I think. And then just relax. It's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're going to Hempy. I mean, that's tomorrow night. I, I assume I'm going to probably do some filming tomorrow day. Depending on how brave I am to brave this traffic, I've kind of extended. Well, I've got a late chicken in my guest house <clears throat> till four, but I'm also thinking of maybe going up to the train station. Ah, so I'm catching the train to Hempy overnight. Oof, but it's an experience, that's for sure. And I accidentally, <clears throat> accidentally booked um, third class sleeper. Aircon. I got a bit confused with when I was booking it because there was there was a non-sleeper, which I guess you just sit. Uh, there was sleeper, no aircon, and then there was third AC or three AC. And I was like, oh, three AC, that must be the best because the other two, you know, are just normal. So it's one, two, three, right? But then I realised later, where I read, I think on my my ticket or something. It was like third class, and I was just like, ooh, that doesn't sound... I have been told, I think, not to go below second class. I've already booked the tickets, and the train was sold out, and that's why the second and first class weren't available. Now we know. Yes, yeah, so it'll be an extra special experience, but that's tomorrow night, 9.30 p.m. I get on that, as long as it still exists. I don't know, but um, yeah, it was, I was going to try and go to a temple tomorrow, all right, I don't know if that's a good idea, one thing I really don't want to do is get stuck at a temple and not be able to get to the train, okay, well, we'll work that all out tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe for it, <coughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, keep on drifting.